what's up YouTube as you can see the weather is back on this bullshit I got my hoodie on my jacket is windy as hell and it's cold you see in the last video I was at a barbecue it was nice out I had my work wig on today I got y'all house braids on under a hat and hoodie I think that's a gift and a curse of living in the Northeast, well, in Connecticut, I should say. Like, the weather is like this all the time. I always say we don't have, we don't have a spring and we don't have a fall. It's either winter or it's summer. It don't matter what month it is. God damn it, it's June. And it's crisp out here. Crisp. Oh, Lord. I don't know. Sometimes I want to like move to warmer climates, but then I'm like, I don't like the heat all that much. I want to move somewhere where the weather is a nice 73 all year round and sunny. I don't want no snow. I don't want no heat waves. I don't want to pass out. I don't want no heat advisory. I don't want nothing craziness i can't take it i can't but anyway as you can see i'm walking i'm always walking if you didn't notice i don't drive my husband drives but i do not drive um but i'm walking to the grocery store my favorite place to be and i was thinking about um one of my co-workers and how she um basically keeps saying she's stressed out she's dealing with anxiety depression all the things all the things and you know i feel bad for her because i know how it feels to be you know anxious and nervous and things like that and we try to tell her like listen get out the house go for a walk do some retail therapy do something because keeping your mind off negative things will help you if you sit in the house, you have nothing but time to think about what's wrong, what could go wrong, why your life is trash in your brain. And I think, and it's so funny because you always see me walking. If it's not to work, it's to the grocery store or something like that. Or I'm always in the mall, wherever. But I feel like being going to the grocery store stayed me during COVID, to be honest with you. I gained 20 pounds. And it saved me because I was working from home. I had just had a baby. All these things. And I'm like, I got to get out of here. It was recommended to me by my therapist to get out, take a walk. Take a walk to the grocery store. It's literally a few minutes from my house. And the bastards locked the door early as hell. But I digress. But yeah. It's a few minutes from my house. I walk, go through the aisles, get what I need to get, and still walk through the fucking aisles. Because, you know, I like to look at the products. I like to see the new stuff that they have. I like to try new things, food-wise. And it gets my mind off of the stressors of work and home life. Love my kids to death. But most parents know they get on your goddamn nerve half the damn time. And me going to the store by myself, I don't have to hear mommy, mommy, mommy. I might hear it, but it ain't for my damn kids. You feel me? So anybody that's going through a time of anxiety, depression, things like that, try to walk. Try to go to the grocery store. Go to the mall. You know? Pick up some snacks. You know? Anything. Try something new. You feel me? But yeah, my robot friend is here. That's my boy. But um, let me go find what I want to find. If I see anything interesting in here, I'll show y'all. Like, like I said, I like to find cool looking stuff, especially this next section. So I'll bring y'all back if I see anything.
unnecessary loudness from that truck. My God. Go what's up, YouTube? I'm back. I got my Amazon work wig on out here. You see me? Um, I'm on my way to the post office. I have an order to drop off from Poshmark. So yeah, if you haven't checked out my Poshmark, definitely check that out. My link will be in the description. Um, yeah. So I was supposed to come on yesterday and, 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 and yeah, let y'all know how my day was going. It was basically a day from fucking hell. Sorry for cursing like that, but it was a it was a terrible, terrible day. Um, so a lot of you may know where I work at. A lot of you may not know where I work at. I ain't gonna tell you where I work at because I don't want y'all coming after me. But let's just say I work in a field with money and customer service. That's it. That's the biggest hints I can give you. So, I'm at work yesterday, and there's a known customer that comes in and wreaks havoc. I have never seen her do it. I've just only heard the stories. And so yesterday was my time to be in her path of the bullshit. So, she comes in, and immediately and immediately she's going off telling um the manager she's gonna kill her <coughs> blah, 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 blah. so i'm like okay if she comes upstairs we're gonna have to either a fight her or b call police so we're like all right what are we gonna do so we tried to hatch a plan but she was so damn quick coming up them stairs I'm telling you. So basically, what we did was I took the lady and took on her transaction. She's screaming at me. She's yelling at me. She's telling me that the president is waiting for her in the car and he's going to kill me if she doesn't get the money. So I'm like, all right. Clearly, something is going on mentally. So I sat her down, did everything I had to do until the police arrived. And she bugged out because she's like, oh, why did you call the police on me, blah, blah, blah. So now I know for sure that her brain has made a mental sketch of me and she's going to see I'm in the street and try to hurt me. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay. But yeah, honestly, I'm thinking about doing story time segments on YouTube because I have, I promise you, story for days, 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 days at a time. I kid you not, like I have stories that will last a lifetime and let me know in the comments if that's something you are interested in if you want to see a, see a story time from me let me know that in the comments and I'll, I'll i'll make it happen but i'm here at the post office i'll talk to y'all later Bye. yo i live in connecticut by the way good morning sorry i'm so rude i live in connecticut and the past couple days has been real funky outside like the sky just looks real dusty so i decided to google you know why does the sun look like this because it was like bright weird orange and it looked like we were on mars turns out there are wildfires in canada and it's blowing the smoke and shit all the way down here that is so unfortunate because the crazy thing is like we live close but not that close i didn't think it was that close where the smoke would be coming down here like that so now i can imagine the people in california in the neighboring areas when they have those wildfires it's just insane because you can kind of smell it out here too which is the wild part wow but yeah i don't know but if you see me walking you know where i'm going i got my work wig on but yeah this work wig split from amazon is doing what it's supposed to do it blows in the wind curl stay up it's a headband wig if you didn't know already but this show is <laughs> look at that look at that curl on my <laughs> okay i said i'm gonna buy another one from the same company they have the same wig but they have different lengths and they have different um I think it has one other color so it has like this color so like the 1b and then that like honey blonde 
in it. I thought that was a cute color. I might get that too. Yeah. We're going to work today with all black on. It's been a whole fucking week. I told you in the last clip how the lady said the presidents were going to kill me. And I promise you, from that day forward, it's been nothing but customers with issue after issue after issue. And it's like, oh, I can't get a break. I'm so tired. Like, I'm mentally exhausted. A lot of people think that what I do is super simple because it doesn't require a lot of movement. It requires, requires no heavy lifting or anything like that. But it's a mental goddamn mindfuck. I'm sorry for cursing so much, but it's just like a mental game. Like, you have to be on your toes mentally at all times in danger. It's always lurking around a corner in my line of business. Always lurking. But it's like, you have to be on your toes. Like, I, I don't know if I want to do this forever and ever. I started this in this industry when I was probably 20 years old. And I've been in it ever since. So about 16, 17 years I've been doing this. And it's never easy there's been jobs that i had and i've had the best time because i made some great friends and had some great opportunities this job here this particular one it's giving me a run for my money say hi to the duck my city is doing something with duck duck goose so they paint um they painted ducks this year last year I don't remember what it was to be honest with you. But they do something every year. The ducks are cute. But yeah, I feel you have to be mentally stable to have this job. I promise you. But yeah, let me know what you guys do down in the comments. If you haven't watched my vlogs before or if you didn't catch what I said last time, I said I work in customer service, I count money. I do the things. I don't work in clothing retail. I work in the finance industry. So you can kind of guess what I do. Um, but yeah, just let me know down in the comments what you do. How you like your job. Is it mentally challenging? Is it worth the hassle? Is it worth the money? Let me know, because I might be wanting to change soon. I always thought that being close to 40 changing jobs was just impossible now that i realize that 37 well 36 right 37 yet 36 37 40 45 is not old at all and they need people like us those the the seasoned ones you know to get things in check but let me know what y'all do down in the comments um but i gotta go so y'all, I told y'all about the air quality outside because of Canada burning the wildfires. Look, I'm inside with a mask on. I never thought I'd probably wear a mask again. Maybe a little bit, but this is insane. It's a whole warning, an air quality warning for tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, because what? I feel like I'm in California. I feel so bad for the people that live in Quebec or Montreal. <clears throat> I think it's in those two areas where the, the fire is happening. So if you live there, if you happen to call, come across this video, I'm so sorry for you. This, this is crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, bye. So yeah, I'm back again for the third time in one day so you already know it's a good day so remember i was telling y'all earlier about the the person who came to my job and was acting a, a plum ass fool why did she come back y'all why did she come back today and was acting a plum fool again um yeah and we've been like i don't know it just seems like this whole week i swear to you this was 
a matter of three days. She came in Monday, she came in today. Back it up. So I'm just like, I don't know if she's gonna come back Friday, but it's gonna be a pattern. And she just wanna skip a day just to fuck with my life. But um, yeah, I can't, I don't know if you guys can tell with the sky how hazy it is, but it's ridiculous. It's like you're walking through, I got some chimney smoke. This is crazy. I don't know how people in California that suffer from wildfires, how they do it. Because this is insane. So insane. Oh my gosh, you're going the wrong way. Anyway, yeah, I'm just not going on lunch. It's freaking 3.30 p.m. My job closes at 4. So, thank you. And I'm just not going on lunch. I'm about to just give me some fries from McDonald's. I got a damn rum cake from Burlington as my dessert so you already know what time of day it is um hey let me get that I'll talk to y'all later bye Yeah, mind your business. If you see me outside with my mask up, leave me alone. If you want to breathe in smoke filled air, leave me alone. Do what you have to do and keep it moving. I'm just trying to get across the street so I can eat my fries. Period. And he's looking at me like I'm crazy. You know what? I'm, I'm out of here. I'm not coming back for the rest of the day. Bye. Bye. What's up, YouTube? You already know it's the weekend. If you see the braided wig come out, um, but I'm here in Forever 21 in my city, and they are closing down because they're relocating, so everything is 75% off. So I'm in here going through the rubble to see what's left over because 75% off of anything is bomb.com. So if I see anything, I will bring that back and I will show you your besties here. done from the mall I'm going to the grocery store picking up last minute stuff that I need for the kids for the week for lunches and whatever but yeah that sale at Forever 21 was good. and they kept bringing stuff out so I'm gonna try to go back during the week and see what they have um 
I'm pretty sure this vlog will go out before they close. I think they said she can't talk. She said they close around, I think the 23rd or the 24th of this month is June. Um, so if you live in Stanford, Norwalk, Bridgeport, anywhere in that area in Connecticut, um, definitely check out the um, Stanford Town Center, Forever 21, 75% off everything. Um, I'm sure the prices will go down even further before that time. But yeah, it said I saved like $200. I only paid 40 something dollars for a bag full of stuff. So I'm definitely going back. I found myself a dress that I'm just going to put in the closet. It's one of those just in case dresses. Um, they had some other nice dresses, but I wasn't sure if I could um, fit it. And plus I had the kids with me and they weren't letting me be great. Um, but yeah, so also they have a lot of um, crop tops and we already know how I feel about crop tops. We don't want to be out here looking like Winnie the Pooh. Uh-uh. No. We too old for that. We too grown to be out here looking like Winnie the Pooh. But they did have a lot of um, sandals, a lot of shoes. They had some boots, t-shirts, kids clothes, everything. The men's clothes was basically gone. They had a couple of graphic tees, but mostly it was out of there. So I'm going to definitely go back on Tuesday. Um, I have a day off. So I'm going to try to head back there on Tuesday and get some stuff. Um, I just have to move some money around, see if I can um, play with it or whatever. Because I do need some going out clothes. And I do need work clothes. I bought myself some work clothes from Burlington Coat Factory. Um... So I'm trying to step my, my, my clothes game up again because going to Goodwill is all fun and games until it's not. Um, I guess they got up on game that people were starting to resell. So they've been jacking up the prices. So it's like not all the things that I buy from Goodwill is for a resale. Some of the stuff is just for me for work because I want to get cheap work clothes that was the point in the beginning before i was reselling i was getting work clothes from goodwill just on a cheap like the button down shirts and all this other stuff but now the prices is just as high as going into target and getting something on sale when they have a sale or something like that you might as well go to target you might as well shop on amazon walmart hell because <clears throat> the shit from goodwill although some of it is obviously sorry i got a rock in my shoe some of it obviously is better than you know fast fashion some of it is fast fashion in there you got she insurance for 15 dollars. y'all gotta be kidding me but anyway somebody's calling me i'm gonna end it out here i'll talk to y'all later Bye.